Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoko Mad here, and welcome back to episode 2 of this Leverkusen career mode here on FIFA 21. First of all, I'm just going to kick off the episode and say, guys, you smashed it. Thank you very much for the support on the first episode. It absolutely blew anything I've done so far out of the water in terms of views in that time span, and is still continuing to do so. I massively appreciate that. It means a lot. Thank you very much. Everyone that's new around here, welcome. Welcome in. I've also gone through your comments. I've read some of the suggestions of certain players we should look for and certain players we should move on. So we're going to go through that now. I'm going to start picking up some players and we should get into the first games in this episode as well. This one might be a little bit of a longer one than usual because we're going to do some transfer stuff in it. Let's also look at some of the scout reports we've got back. We've got one back as well right now straight away for Alexander-Arnold. Is a player who I genuinely think would fit our team quite well he's 79 rated it's just dependent on how much he will cost but we will shortlist him in the uh, transfer section and Piontek we also got one back but for me Piontek is no better than Schick so there is probably no point in trying to sign him unfortunately he's 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 very similar to him He's very similar to him. He's not amazingly quick he would be good with the headers though which would be decent but we've got Schick for that already the striker that we are probably going to go in for, I'm actually quite excited about signing. He's absolutely ripping up the Bundesliga right now. Yeah, that's right. We are going to look to try and bring in Andre Kramaric. The 29-year-old Croatian striker has been absolutely ripping up the Bundesliga so far this season and is a superb goal scorer and someone who I think would really fit our team. We're going to scout him to see what he's rated, but I'm excited. He could be a great player that we could sign up. I would love to see him in the Leverkusen kit. Right, so we're also going to start to look to offload some players. We're going to offload a goalkeeper. We're going to get rid of Lom. Right into the transfer list. So Grav and Wendell are all going to stay, but Dragovic for me is probably going to be moved on the 29-year-old 20, uh, Austrian. We don't need him anymore. I think we can look to move him on. I think I will move on another centre-back. I just can't decide because I kind of like Tiny Edvaj. I do. From back in the day, he's so versatile as well, so he's a decent player to have around. Then also, Restos is a decent player as well. The 21-year-old is young. He's versatile too. So it's kind of, I don't know. I don't. We probably could do with moving on another centre-back, but I don't want it to be any of the centre-backs I've got, if that makes sense. Uh, we've got Weiser and Bender as right-backs. I think we could do with a better right-back because Bender is actually 31. He's decent in centre-mid as well, to be fair to him, but he's 31. So could do with another young uh, right-back because I'm not sure that uh, Michel Weiser will be good in the future. Diaby, Palacios, Wurz here. We're going to actually look to move out on loan. Let's see if we can do anything with him. We've got Mary Paulinho as our cams at the moment. Now, Paulinho, a 19-year-old, can also play on the right mid. Might trade him for right wing. And a Mary, a 23-year-old German cam. A Mary's probably going to be our main cam for now. I want to sign another cam, though, at this stage. We've got some players here also to just send out on the loan list. See if they can progress. And here we are. So we're at Lucas Alario. Now, someone suggested that we get rid of Alario, and I'm kind of on the lines of okay with that. We're going to get rid of Joel because, you know, names are difficult and stuff, and he's not good enough for the team. He's not good enough for the team. So, Lucas Alario is someone I'd probably look to move on, but I am worried at this stage. We don't have enough strikers, and even with just Kramaric coming in, two strikers isn't going to be enough. So, we are going to hold on to Lucas Alario for now. He is in the future going to be someone we look to move on, or maybe someone we use in a trade, but we can't move him on just yet because we won't have enough striker depth. We are in Europe again this season as well, what we need to remember. And if one of the if, if Kramaric got an injury, Schick would have to play every single game. So just for now, we're going to keep Alario. So in real life, they did bring in Santiago Arias as well. He's got a release clause of 43 million. The big issue with this one is, are we going to be able to get the deal over the line? It's probably going to be extremely expensive. We'll see what we can do with that one. I'm going to do my best to bring him in because they signed him in real life. If I can't do it in this window, I'll do it in another one. But we are going to push to bring in Santiago Arias because, you know, they signed him in real life. I want him to be in the team. Unfortunately, the transfer window is still open when FIFA drops. That isn't the norm. This is just the situation we're in. I'm glad you decided to put me up for sale. So these are, this is an interesting new conversation section that you get. Just guys saying, yeah, I'm happy that you put me up. I'm happy that you put me up, which is absolutely fine. Let's move forward now. I'm going to skip through the friendly games. So fully rotated side. We are going to quick sim this one, though, against Bologna, and hopefully we'll come 
out with a victory, and we do 3 nil. Wise are getting two, and Palacio scoring as well, and we absolutely dominated them. So a couple more scout reports back. Now, Silas could be fairly cheap. He's young, and I think will progress well. So we're going to shortlist him, and he could be the second strike. This is, this is what I'm thinking, right? We can let Alario go. Bring in Silas and Kramaric. 82 rated. He could be a superstar. He's going to go in the shortlist as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually sign Silas now. And then we're going to try and move on Alario and buy Kramaric. Or do a trade deal, which is in the game, for Alario going and Kramaric coming into us. So that's what we're going to try and do now. So we'll go in for Silas straight away. See how much he's going to cost us. So I'm going to go in for 4 million. Because I think that's fairly realistic for him. Although he is young. So they might want a little bit more. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. We can counter this. I'm open to this. Let's propose a new transfer fee. Let's go to just a million. And they can have Johnny Boy. This works out really good for us. They wanted a sell-on clause. They want a sell-on clause, which I'm going to remove. I don't like the idea of a sell-on clause just because I think Silas will become a very good player. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck up an extra 200,000 now. And hopefully that will do the job. 1.6. We're happy with that. We're happy with that. John goes their way. We get Silas in. This is a good deal for us. One striker already got. Are we going to be able to do another trade for Kramaric now and get a second striker? So let's see if we could do the same for Kramaric here. I'm going to offer them a striker back, obviously in trade, Alario. Uh, and I'm obviously going to have to offer them a transfer fee here. Now I'm going to go in with 10 million. Alario's worth 11, so probably going to have to go in higher. We're going to go with 15, and we'll see what we can do with that. And maybe they're okay with this. We'll see. Okay, they want Bellarabi instead. We can't do it with Bellarabi. He's too important for us. It's Alario we want to get rid of. So we're going to counter this. Uh, and we're going to remove the exchange player of 29.7 million. Let's see if they'll accept this. I think they're going to want a lot more than that. They want 39.5. I'm going to counter again down to 32. I would be happy with this. I'm happy with 32 for Kramaric. Superb striker. And we've done the deal. We've done the deal. So that is our two strikers in. We can now let Alario go. And I feel way more comfortable going forward. I'm actually really excited about our strike force now. Kramaric in and Silas in. Hopefully in the coming days if they agree contracts. We can let Alario go now. Unfortunately in our position now. That does leave us a little bit short of cash. So doing well in this tournament would be helpful. We do beat Torino 2-1. So we'll go through to the next round. Bellarabi and Amiri scoring as well. I'm actually excited about the cam options for now. We're going to have to go with a player that is not at Kai Havertz level. But we're going to train Paulinho. He's going to get better. And we're going to train some of the other players. I haven't set up the training sessions just yet. Uh, Alario is surprised. He is surprised. But he shouldn't be. Because we've got two class strikers potentially coming in. Oh, this isn't good news. This is interesting as well, actually. Tin Yedvaj's release clause has been met. The player may be joining Crystal Palace. They've paid 14.2 million for the transfer. He's not a player I wanted to lose, but we are going to lose him because of that release clause. And out of respect for realism, I'm not going to go now and try and re-sign him to a new contract to get rid of the release clause or bug it out in any way, shape or form. If he wants to go to Palace... We'll let him go. So this is interesting. We receive an email that Atletico Madrid are in for Kramaric. And he's in talks with them. But then we also receive an email to say that he's agreed a contract. So he's going to be signing for us. Andre Kramaric will be our first signing in this career mode. And I'm extremely happy about that signing. We have a real star talent. And also, I've just noticed he can play Cam. So he could play Schick up top and Kramaric just in behind him. We are going to be way more deadly now going forward this season. Well, there he is, number 24, Andre Kramaric at the press conference. 32.5 million. I think he's a steal. He's going to be very good in this year's game. And the thing is, is I've been told a lot that the ageing is completely different. So at 29, he's going to be in his prime and will be in his prime for the next few seasons as well. Rotate the side a little bit, but Kramaric is going to get his first game up top here against Tigres. I believe that's how you say it. We'll quick sim this one as well. Let's see what result we get. A 2-0 victory. So we will be in the final of this preseason tournament. Although it was a very close game. Alario coming off the bench though. And grabbing what seems to be the winning goal. And Palacios scoring the first one. So Silas has agreed his deal. And he'll be signing number two. So our strike force signings now going forward. We are done. Kramaric is in. And so is Silas. 
Someone please tell me how to say his last name now, because I don't have a clue. I'm going to watch the highlight show again and see what they call him, because I think he's already scored in the Bundesliga this season for Stuttgart. The 20-year-old Congo player. I'm excited to see how he progresses as well. 70 rated already, but he's going to be a powerhouse. He's very strong. He's very athletic and agile. I'm really excited about that deal. And cheap as well, 1.65 million. So we have actually finally received a transfer offer for Olario. Now, it is from... RB Leipzig and I am just going to accept it because it is over his valuation by uh, 1.8 million and we will just accept that one there we're still waiting on Tinyard Vaj I would prefer he didn't leave us but his release clause was met and Palace want him so we'll see what happens there we'll see what happens with his contract but Alario could be coming up against us this season going to Leipzig obviously they lost Timo Werner this time round but We'll see if he goes. Right, guys, so here we go. Final time against Brighton. They've got a decent squad. I know they've got McAllister, who is a player we could look at. Argentine Cam, a position we need and maybe fairly cheap. Someone, another player that we could work on. But the team's looking strong for this one. Silas is coming in for his first game there. Out on the left, I think I am going to retrain him to be able to play on the left-hand side. But let's quick sim this one and see how we get on. There we go. We do end up winning the tournament with a 2-1 victory here. Bender getting the most important goal of the game. And Doni scoring for them and Balarabi getting the first. So, I know we were looking for a right-back and 19-year-old Joshua Wagnermann from Hamburg, German, would be someone who we could go for. But he has been approached by Bayer Munich. So, we need to get in there as quickly as possible and try and make him our right-back and not Bayern's. So the news has come back. We have actually sold Alario and we've sold Yedvaj as well. That should boost the transfer budget. I'm not overly happy about Yedvaj going. I would have preferred to keep him there. We're just going to accept this one for Lomb. Uh, I would have preferred to have kept him, but unfortunately he wanted to go. We've got the scout report back for Arias and he could be a deal that we could do actually now. We might have to move on a couple more players, but I think we can bring him in. 21 million is what he's worth, so it'll be whether we can kind of pick him up for that price tag. Nowhere near his release clause, because we couldn't afford that. I've got three days to wait for Wagnerman. Hopefully that report comes back before Bayern Munich get their hands on him. As you can see there, Lucas Alario signing for RB Leipzig. I love those animations. We're still getting the flicker in, as I pointed out earlier. If you are on PC and you're getting that, I think it could be an anti sailing situation because i have no issues running the game whatsoever my specs are actually quite high for the game so we should be all right so we've got the final scout report now he's still at hamburg he's 69 rated he's promising i think we go in for him i think we're going for wagnerman a young 19 year old german right back and we'll uh, help improve him over time we've got some offers here for dragovic as well let's see what the offers are we've got 5 million from west ham 4.8 million from burnley so i am going to reject the burnley offer and I am going to accept the West Ham offer, though. I'm just going to offer straight up 3 million here for Wagnerman and see what they say. I think they're going to want a bit more. They are. They want a sell-on clause, which, of course, I'm not too keen on that. But we will pay the transfer fee that they wanted. Oh, they've upped it now. Let's counter that. So for them, 3.5, and I'm sure they'll probably accept this one. There we go. Wagnerman should be a Leverkusen player now. Also, just quickly noting, he can play right back, left mid, and left back. The left mid, I'm not really too fixated on. I would prefer he had a game face as well. But the left back and right back situation, that is good that he can play both. He's got high attacking work rates and medium defensive. We're going to work on him a lot. He's quite athletic already, which is a plus point for us. And uh, we're going to work on him anyway to help progress his career. So it looks like there's that and Aria still to do if we've got the money for it. But the transfer budget at the moment is sitting healthily at 47 million. So I think Arias will be a player that we can bring in quite comfortably. So here's an interesting one. Usually when you did the delegate on last year's game, no matter what, you tended to get the player. They've We've reached an impasse. We're going to go back in for him, obviously. I don't want to lose out on Wagnerman. But we did, unfortunately, not get him to agree on a deal. Another bid's coming for Dragovic as well. And we're just going to outright accept that one because it's more than what we accepted from West Ham. 5.1 million from Club Bruges. Well, it appears I know why he didn't sign for us. Wagnerman, the dirty guy, he's gone and signed for Bayer Munich. No way. So we have missed out on Joshua Wagnerman, the youngster. He's going to be a Bayern Munich player and progress his career there, unfortunately, for us. So that means we need to go in for Arias now as quickly as possible. The 28-year-old Colombian right back. Let's see if we can pick him up. Obviously, I'm definitely not going to pay that release clause. I want to get him for roughly around his value. I'm going to go in instantly with 22 million and let's see what they say. 
They want Bellarabi in 6.1. So that's definitely not going to happen. We're going to remove that exchange player. And I'm going to propose a new transfer fee. And we'll go up to 26 million now for him. And hopefully they'll accept that. Ah, reasonable. There we go. Thank you, Simone. We will do the deal. And Arias should be a Leverkusen player. So that's interesting that a player had two options there. And we were one of them. And usually I find that the player signs for you. Wagnerman chose Bayern Munich. So Dragovic, has mm. so Dragovic has decided to find his new home there at West Ham for 5 million. That's good news for us. And Lom has gone as well. But a healthy budget now of 52 million and 227k. Obviously with Arias coming out. Will leave us some room for in the next episode to maybe do some more dealings. Or if anything, save it for January. We've seen the transfer offer now for Wendell. Which is just going to be rejected instantly. He's going nowhere. So Arias has actually accepted the offer and we have ourselves a new Colombian right back joining the club. That's good news for everyone. So three players in in this window so far. Arias, Kramaric and Silas. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Just a little bit gutted that we couldn't get Wagnerman. Transfer offered now for Demiray from Arsenal. And I am... I'm contemplating a little bit because if we could get up uh, 38 millions, then maybe that would make sense. But we are a bit weak in centre mid. We are a bit weak in centre mid and we're already contemplating Maximilian Arnold. So no, we will we'll turn it down. The 27-year-old, 80 rated. He's a very good player for us. Okay, so we've received a big one here. Moussa Diaby, the 21-year-old Frenchman, 81 rated overall. 57.7 million for Man United. They reckon they've lowballed us there. And then it could go up to 87 million. But Diaby ain't going nowhere, guys. Definitely not this season. Anyway, I'm going to reject that. It's a lot of money, but I'm going to reject that. There's not a chance. Man United, you'll have to look elsewhere. So we've received an offer for Mitchell Weiser. Now, the only problem with this one is how much is he going to play now that we've signed Arias and we have Bender? But I think we want to keep him. I think we want to keep him just simply because we're going to be playing a lot of games this season. There's European games. Keeping match sharpness is going to be difficult. It is a juggling act this year on this year's game is keeping that match sharpness. As you can see there, we're lacking it. It really is a juggling act. So we need to be cautious about what we're doing with that. Also just received the bid here for Benfica for Sven Bender. The problem is with both the, the Bender brothers is... How good they are and how important they are to the club. They're kind of like staples of the club. So I feel like selling one would just, it just wouldn't be right. Although this is a ridiculously good offer for a 31 year old that usually I'd consider. I just don't think it fits. I don't think Leverkusen would sell him. I'm noticing we're getting a lot of transfer offers. I quite like it though. The wanted man, though, Karim Bellarabi. A few teams have already tried to do swap deals with us for him. He's going nowhere. Into Milan, though, coming in with a sizable 32.4 million bid for the 30-year-old German. But no, we need him this year. We really need him this year. And I don't know if we'd be able to replace him. The menus have changed. Now we've come to the start of the Bundesliga. It's all gone Bundesliga branded. I love that. That is fantastic. Nice touch, FIFA. Nice touch. Another transfer bid for Demabai, and it's just not happening, Porto. He's not going anywhere. I think we're probably going to look to keep most of our players now. An interesting offer here from Leipzig. Now, definitely not going to sell him to Leipzig. For the 31-year-old Aaron Gies, he, he's getting on a little bit. He is getting on a little bit. It's not a bad offer. They reckon we could get up to about 34 million. Temptation is hitting a little bit here, but I, I think we're going to reject it. But let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe it's time for him to move on. He is the club captain, though. Right, guys, so it's time for the first game of the season and the game we've got in this episode. Now, I appear to have been doing dreadfully with the match sharpness. I'm going to go back and redo the training. I've done it wrong quite clearly because yeah I'll, well i'll just go and show you i mean i'll just show you they're, they're either perfect or awful there's no in between the perfect or awful you know the majority of all players so i need to go back and redo the training obviously um we've got some new players and some players are going to be started some players aren't so we need to go and change that but yeah we're looking strong for today's game i am going to go with diaby ahead of bailey in this one i'm going to retrain bailey to play on the right though i think and let's get into this one it'll be interesting freiburg not an easy game they've got some matter up top who's got pace we're now playing on legendary as well should be absolutely fine Let's see how we get on. So here we go, guys. Time for the first game of the season as they highlight Aaron Gies here. Hopefully a very good performance from the lads. 
I'm expecting it. The stadium looks absolutely beautiful. The music is fantastic, but I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have to cut that out. We'll find out when it comes to copyright. But here we go. Leverkusen versus Freiburg. Should not be an easy game, I don't think. I think Freiburg have an okay side. Let's see what we could do with the team. Amiri starting and Kramerich, the new boy. Kramerich, the new boy, starting up top. And the presentation for FIFA is just... Uh, well, it's top-notch, isn't it? The stadium looks beautiful. The presentation is really where this game shines. This is this is really nice. This is really, really nice. But it's Kramerich's chance today to impress his new team and his new teammates. Let's see how we get on. Well, the first game of a new season begins, and we've stepped up the difficulty because we was finding it a little bit too easy before. Let's see how we get on. Uh, I'm doing a Wiccan career mode over there on uh, Twitch if you guys want to go and check it out. And I've got to be honest with you, it's been extremely difficult so far. But we can are a two-star side in the championship. So this could be different. We do have a very good squad here. Let's see how we get on here on Legendary. Kramerich with his first touch is not the greatest. I think we should have a decent season, though. We've got a very strong squad. There's going to be some difficult games, of course. There's going to be some tough matches, some good lineups as well for us to go against. Oh, Kramerich here. What can we do? Amiri, not a bad touch there. In Oh, he wasn't in enough space, though, was he? Yeah, we, there's going to be some really difficult games. When we come against teams like Dortmund and so on and so forth, we're going to find ourselves having a lot of problems. But let's see how we get on. Opening day, I'd love a win against Freiburg. Let's start the season as we mean to go on. Well, in there by Bender with a victory. Oh, Diaby's done brilliant work there. Can I pull it back? I'm going to try. Oh, I can't. Great defending, though. Good work from Diaby. I'm excited to use him. I think he's going to be very good for us. Ooh, Freiburg have signed Joshua King. 9.9 .9 million from Bournemouth. Let's see if he gets an appearance today off the bench for them. Well, I did say off the bench, but Joshua King has actually started the game. And they're coming forward now, Freiburg. And I can't switch off. I've got to remain concentrated. Defending is a little bit more difficult on this year's game, I've noticed to win the ball back, and they're going to get a free kick now in a dangerous position. It's just a little touch difficult. With the dribbling, the uh, opposition seems to be a lot better, which is exactly what you want. Legendary was a little bit too predictable and easy last year. It's nowhere near as predictable. I'm finding that out the hard way with Wickham. Uh, we've had some rough results so far. Well, what can Freiburg do here? They'll whip the ball in, I'm sure. It's not very dangerous, though. And we're going to be able to get the ball away with Amari here. Oh, he did great work there. Kramerich. Let's go to the right. Uh, no, sorry, the left-hand side here. I spotted Diaby making the run, but didn't play the ball. I will finally get the ball to Diaby. I'm going to do with it here. I'm going to pull it back. That's a terrible fake shot. You can tell I haven't played much FIFA. Kramerich is in there. He won't find him, though, unfortunately. But this is a nice start from us. What can I do here? I thought I could turn with Amiri. He doesn't seem to have the, uh, that ability. Uh, some players can just turn their man quite comfortably. I don't know what Jonathan Tai is doing in this position, but I'd like to pull him back a little bit now. Baumgartlinger. What I've noticed is players are more open to making runs for you this year as well, which is nice. He stopped the run there, though, did Mary. Just as I said, they're more open to make runs. We stopped making the runs. Santa Maria also playing for Freiburg. Some decent players in this Freiburg side. Kramerich now will find the RB. I'm going to pull this one back for Kramerich. He's got a bit of space. We'll fire off a shot. Well said by Muller. They stood off him there. They can stand off him as much as they want in this game. It'll cause them some problems. Let's whip the ball in now. I haven't done many corners so far on this year's game. And you could tell by that. That was god awful. But the RB now. I'm going to try and whip this one in with Aaron Gies. I do whip it in. Bellarabi. 1-0. Bayer Leverkusen here. Bellarabi with the goal. And typical that it is that man who gets the goal. Beautiful ball in in the end by Aaron Gies. Oh, he sh maybe should have scored it first time, but it doesn't matter. The keeper spilled it. 1-0. Free kick now to Freiburg. And this is a dangerous position. I don't know how good the opposition are at free kicks. Oh, we've jumped way too early. Oh, Hardecki there. He tried to keep hold of it as well. Brilliant save. Ooh, still 1-0 Leverkusen, though. So here we have it, guys. Half time here and 1-0 to the Leverkusen. Joshua King really not being anything in this one so far. But they're still in the game. While it's 1-0, they are still in this game. So here we go. Second half here against Freiburg. Let's see what we can do. 
We've got a good enough team in this one. We really do. Oh, Baumgartlinger there. Brilliantly. Go on, Kramerich. Make the run, mate. Make the run. Oh, he's just couldn't thread the ball through. Oh, they've made a mistake. They have made a mistake. I'm going to get the ball across. Bellarabi. It should be 2-0 Leverkusen. It should be 2-0 Leverkusen. I don't look happy there, do I? Bellarabi with the opportunity to make it 2. Unlucky. Great save, though. Well, we're going to bring off Tar. He's got a yellow card, and he's just lacking sharpness, and I can kind of feel it, which is unexpected. I didn't expect that. And we're going to bring on Tap Soda now and see what he can do. I'm just going to whip this one in there in the center. We do have a man up there, Tap Soda. Imagine that being his entrance into the team for today's game. But, yeah, he just seems a little bit off the pace, and maybe Matt Sharpness is really important. We're still unaware how important it is. I'm doing dreadfully here at defending. I really was there. I've managed to kind of pull it back a little bit. Oh, we don't get that tackle, though. I'm high on him. And I do... In the end, I win it back. But, yeah. He's just... Match sharpness maybe be a thing that really changes how you play in this game. Because he didn't... Jonathan Tyler didn't feel very good in this one. He, uh, he felt like he was going to give away a penalty at any stage, to be fair. Well, Samato's coming off and they're bringing on Nils Pettersson. I think Pettersson's a fairly new signing. I think he scored at the weekend, so we'll watch out for him. An aerial threat for sure. Let's see how he gets on in this one. Santa Maria now. You see how much more difficult it is to get the ball off a player. Jockeying them is so much more important, but they do have so much better close control. Like King there, his close control with the dribbling was brilliant. And Pettersson! Makes it 1-1. The danger man has come off the bench and he scored for them instantly. I think maybe we could have done better with that one. Maybe been a bit tighter to him. Be 1-1 one, one now, so we need to get back into this. We've just gone off the boil a little bit. We've just lost our rhythm. A little bit out of sorts, and it's a beautiful finish. Well, the RB now. I'm going to try and play that into Kramerich. I've got many options. I will find Amiri. Amiri now, surely, to seal the game up. There we go. It's 2-1 now when we get a lucky breakaway. Good play from Diaby and Kramaric, though, to get to the goal. And Amiri getting his first goal here for me. Oh, that was good. We needed to get straight back into this game. We've played a lot better since the goal. And that'll do nicely. 2-1 by Leverkusen. It's the first chance we've actually had after. And it's great play from Amiri there, actually, to be honest with you. So we're going to make another substitution here. I'm going to bring on Dian Rambi. If I'm saying his name wrong, which I'm pretty sure I am. We'll make that substitution now and see how we get on. We need to hold this lead. I may make one more substitution yet if we've got time for it. I don't know if the ball will go out again. You never know in these games. But we're looking good. We're looking good going forward. And that's what I'm kind of expecting from the team this year. I would have preferred a better performance from Tar. I was very mightily disappointed there. They've got a good position here, though. That's great play. That's great play there. Um, oh yeah, I would have preferred a better, uh, a better game from Tar, but he's lacking match sharpness, and I think it's so important that you have good match sharpness this year's game. Bellarabi now. He's going to make the run. He will get the ball back as well. I'm going to play that to Kramaric. Kramaric, dangerous position. Diaby. Oh, well saved by Muller. I wanted him to switch it to his other foot, but he just was reluctant to. But again, on the counter, we are a serious threat. Well, we are going to make the third and final substitution here now. We are going to bring Kramaric off and Silas on. They're going to make a sub as well, obviously, to try and get something from this game. See what we can do with the corner. Again, I'm not very good with these. It will go in. <sighs> Wasn't terrible, that was it for a corner. Good position! Joshua King in 93rd minute will score for Freiburg, and this one will finish 2-2. They just carved us open there in the last moments of this game. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at this. We were all out of sorts. I don't know what we were playing at defensively. Joshua King's just got free, hasn't he? He's got the right side of Tap Soda. 2-2 oh, two -two here against Freiburg. The opening day is just bringing up such a great game. And obviously from the kickoff there, it was in the 93rd minute. The whistle should have already have been blown, referee. This one's going to end 2-2, guys. What an opening match. Back and forth. We look great going forward on the counter. We're going to have to improve defensively as the season goes on now. That's not good enough. That should have been a victory there for us. Conceding that late on in the game. Joshua King, the new man at Freiburg. 
Well, it's a good debut for him, really, isn't it? What a crazy first game of football. Some interesting results by Munich and Borussia Dortmund drew. Oh, they tell they tell you it in German as well. They ask you the question in German. That's nice. I don't know German, though. Uh, is that a point gained or drop? I'm going to say a draw is not a bad result. Opening game of the season. Lacking a little bit of match sharpness. There's some new players to come in. Um, let's say, what's he said? Why didn't Arias make his debut today? I want to settle on him first. His sharpness was nowhere near good enough. And we know now that sharpness is important. Uh, is time ringing out for... No, definitely not. We can't wait forever. Every player has to deal with tough times. Let's go with that. That'll keep him happy. There we go. First press conference done here at Leverkusen. A little bit frustrating of a result, but I'm not, you know, I'm not completely disappointed. I'm not, like, bitterly disappointed. It was a difficult game. Freiburg going forward were very good, but then defensively were very bad. I think Diaby probably should have scored that goal, which was a little bit frustrating. But, guys, that's going to be it from me for this episode. Once again, I really appreciate the support that you guys are showing. If you're new around here, smash subscribe for me. I'm trying to grow as much as possible. Hopefully, we'll hit a 1,000 soon. That would be absolutely unbelievable. 1,000 by Christmas is kind of what I'm aiming for. In tomorrow's episode, we will finish the transfer window, so leave more suggestions for players. We're going to rechange the training because, wow, match sharpness is so important this year. That's crazy. And we will be playing against Cologne and or Cologne, I doubt, whichever way you want to say it. And then a rail challenge against Wolfsburg. They've got a decent side. Maybe Maximilian Arnold will be lining up for us. There is temptation to let a couple more players go, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, take it easy. I appreciate the support. Again, I am an appreciator. You'll hear that a lot from me. Enjoy your weekend of football. I'll be back again tomorrow with another episode. Take care.